Cosmos tonight on Channels Television. Once again, we welcome you to uh, on the program. Cosmos Chukwemeka is also here. Cosmos, good to have you on the show. Well, Austin is good to be here, and mm. certainly, um, so much to talk about. We've read all the yeah. numbers. I particularly want to hear from Sophie Omidji. Okay. Um, this is not the first time she'll be invited to mm -hmm. play for Nigeria. Um, of course, she has been invited before. She was part of the Falconet uh, teams for the qualifiers, and uh, maybe, maybe she probably might make it for the World Cup in France later, but then they have to play a friendly match against France mm -hmm. um, you know, in a few days' time, and let's see what Sophia brings to the table. That's right. And then the way for Champions League. I know, tell me about it. Do you know it. that Cristiano Ronaldo tell is me. the first player tell ever me. to score in 10 consecutive games? Wow. No player, no footballer has ever done that. He has scored against 10 consecutive UEFA Champions, Champions League. Champions League games. Wow. And it started from Juventus. Woo. And it's ending with Juventus. <laughs> it might not just end that, it there. Well, it might not Cristiano just end Ronaldo. it there. Cristiano Ronaldo. But then 10 consecutive games, and you want to ask yourself that. Uh, um, the, the narrative and the argument of um, if um, he's a better player than hmm. um, Leano Messi hmm. will keep on going even I when know. these two players because the moment up. Cristiano Ronaldo does this Messi jumps up exactly. and gives us another match. 21 goes already this season, and you want to ask yourself that um, uh, you, you, you want to say that uh, Cristiano Ronaldo is on is, is on the edge right now. Mm. His scoring goals are plenty, and um, you feel that he um, can you know compete well. Um, in the way for Champions League, maybe they can do the fourth, the third time. The Handball Federation of Nigeria, the HFN, uh, they have confirmed that the national on the 12, I think grassroots, that's the way to go. And on the 15 championships will take place from April the 6th till the 15th. Over 54 clubs drawn from 27 states and the paramilitary organizations with battle for honors at the Mobola G. Johnson Sports Complex in Yaba, uh, Lagos. Federation President Samuel Ocheo uh, says the championship um, is aimed at developing young talents, I love it, and to replace the aging ones at the national teams. Let's listen to him. My advice for the children as they eat the court this weekend is for them to just show the, all the best they can do. Play the game with fun, enjoy the game, and just do all they can to ensure that the tournament is great success. Um, I don't want them doing more than what they can do. And at this level, I pray that there's nothing like drugs involved in, at this level. And uh, so I would rather want to concentrate on them showcasing their skills so that we all can have fun and know that the future of handball is bright. I will personally be involved this time in looking at the people that will be coming for this championship. We've already sent messages to all states that they should come with the right age. Uh, would we be able to eliminate it 100%? We may not be able to. Uh, we don't have the requisite technology yet. But one thing I can assure you is that we're going to reduce it to the barest minimum. <laughs> 